Hey there, I'm Ari from Wirefly.com and welcome back to the Wirefly cell phone smackdown ring. And today it is the Palm Pixie Plus versus the Palm Pre Plus. And both these phones are on Verizon's network and are the updates to the original Palm Pre and Pixie that we find on Sprint's network. And they do have a few upgraded features that add that plus sign to them. And this isn't going to be your typical smackdown because after all these phones are extremely comparable phones. The Palm Pixie Plus is basically the little brother to the Palm Pre Plus, or some people would say the little sister, Ari, but either way, we're going to get in the ring and see how these two phones compare with each other. Alright, welcome back to center ring of our Wirefly cell phone smackdown arena. On the right side it is the Palm Pre Plus, and on the left side it is the Palm Pixie Plus. And you can see that hardware-wise, they are virtually identical to the same phones on the Sprint network. The Pre is missing that button, and instead has the touch-sensitive area that the Pixie has, and no more orange on those keys, but other than that, the very same hardware from the outside. And like always, going to remind you that both these phones are available for a great price on Wirefly.com, and remember to check out our channel for a coupon code for a free Bluetooth headset with your purchase. But we'll start off with both these phones with a quick look at their hardware. And software-wise, these phones have the very same capabilities with Palm's WebOS operating system. And on top here, you have a 3.5mm headphone jack, same thing on the Pixie, along with a power button on both phones, and your vibrate toggle switch is on top on the Pre. And if we flip over to the right side, on the Pre, it's a micro USB port under that cover right there. And on the right side of the Pixie, it's that same vibrate toggle switch along with your volume up and down key. And on the left side, nothing on the Pixie. And then your uh, volume rocker is on the left of the Pre. And a very similar keyboard, again, on both phones. Although the Pixie's keyboard is slightly raised and the keys are a little bit more elongated than the uh, keyboard on the Pre because those keys have to be able to slide under the screen. So uh, keyboard wise I actually like the Pixie's keyboard better. It's a little bit more clicky and uh, easier to use in my humble opinion but uh, not too big of a difference between those two. And form factor wise the differences are pretty obvious. When the uh, Pre is slid closed that uh, Pixie is a good deal slimmer than the Pre, and it's also a uh, little bit lighter. I'll show it to you with the uh, banana form factor with it open too. In uh, screen wise, the Pixie on our left has a 2.63 inch screen and is 320 by 400 pixels, while the Pre has a 3.1 inch screen and 320 by 480 pixels. So a slightly bigger and higher resolution screen on the Pre than on the Pixie Plus. And uh, both phones, pretty similar battery life, 5.5 hours of talk time supposedly on the Pre and 5.2 on the Pixie. So you'll really probably end up getting about the same battery from both phones. And both these phones do have Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is in addition to the Pixie Plus, and it's not included on the original Pixie. And both these phones are capable of being used as a mobile hotspot, meaning that up to five devices can use the uh, phone's Verizon 3G connection. It's actually a downloadable software package. There it is right there on the Pre. So we download that from Palm's app catalog. That's compatible with both these Plus phones, but not the original Pre or Pixie. The Palm Pre Plus has 16 gigabytes of onboard storage space, which actually double the storage space as on the original Palm Pre for Sprint's network, and the Pixie Plus has 8 gigabytes of storage space. And we'll flip them over and take a look at the camera on the back. You can see that both phones do have a flash with the camera, right there. And it's a 2 megapixel camera on the Pixie Plus and a 3 megapixel camera on the Pre Plus. And coming in February is update 1.4, which will bring both phones uh, the capability to record video. And the Pre and Pixie original versions for Sprint will also be able to record video at that time as well with the same update. 
like I said, software-wise, the phones are exactly the same, same functionality, with uh, Palms, WebOS, and Cards, which is great for multitasking. So you can easily flip through applications. Take a quick look at the full menu on both phones. See your instant messaging and text messaging, your web browser, music player, videos, Google Maps, tasks list, memo pad. Here's some of the free software we downloaded from Palm's app catalog. There's the app catalog, YouTube player, the Amazon's MP3 store. It has VZ Navigator for turn by turn GPS directions. And if you want a uh, closer, more in depth look at how WebOS works, more of its features, you can check out our full review of the original Palm Pre. A final major difference between the Pixie Plus and the Pre Plus is going to come in the realm of RAM. The Pixie Plus actually has 256 megabytes of RAM, while the Pre Plus has double that at 512 megabytes, and that's double the RAM of the original Pre as well. And the additional RAM is going to mean that you can have more cards open at the same time and it's going to make for an overall faster experience when you're using applications. And you may have noticed that we're at the Palm Profile setup screen actually in the midst of shooting uh, our demo account that was on the Pre got switched out to a different phone which of course locked us out of the phone but in the spirit of continuing and finishing this video we're going to trudge ahead and count our cards here. So that's one card, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. And if we try to open a twenty-fourth card, if history repeats itself, we get our sorry too many cards error. But in our previous tests, opening the very same applications with the same amount of things running on both phones, we are able to open up well more than 50 cards on the Palm Pre Plus here. So certainly a more powerful phone that's going to let you have uh, more cards open at the same time and also a smoother, all, smoother overall feel when you do have that many cards open. But still on the Pixie Plus here, a very impressive 23. You could hear me getting out of breath there counting it up. So both phones, very competitive phones, and that'll basically do it for us. As always, we give you the facts and let you decide which phone is best for you. So let us know in the comments which of these two phones you're going to be picking, or if you're going to be picking another phone for the Verizon network. I'm Ari from Wirefly.com. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye.